All right, so today we're gonna to look at how to enable ED authentication into your iGel Clean client. So as you can see right now, it logged me in immediately. That's because I have no AD authentication present. So let, let's change that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to my iGel UMS, my universal management suite. And the first thing we wanna do is create a, a profile to point to your existing Active Directory. So I'm gonna right click profiles on the top here. I'm gonna choose new profile and let's call this AD new. And from here, you wanna jump down to security, logon, and active directory. So this is one setting we're gonna to have to apply. So we're gonna choose, yes, we wanna log in to the active directory domain. We're gonna do explicit. And I like to remember the last username. I think that makes it a little bit easier for users so they don't have to type in their username every single time, but that's up to you. And I'm gonna give a log off shortcut location so I can easily log off that session when needed. And you can, of course, do that from the desktop as well. So this is the first thing we need to set up. So now I'm gonna jump down to Active Directory and we need to enable Active Directory as well as type in your FQDN. So not your NetBIOS, make sure you type your domain dot. And we're gonna do a DNS lookup for the domain controller, DNS lookup for the domain. But I'm also gonna jump down here to domain one and I'm gonna specify my domain controller. So I'll type in my FQDN here. I'll type in the IP address of my domain controller. And if you, if you do have a couple domain controllers, you can of course add that there as well. And simply put, I'll hit save. And you'll see it's not gonna apply yet. That's because in iGel's UMS, you have to drag and drop it to the location uh, wherever your, your actual client lives. So in this case, my client's here, so I'm just gonna take that new profile we created, I'm gonna drag it over, and because iGel's super cool, I can make these changes take effect now. And so if I jump over here, I'll hit okay, and you'll see I'm getting that update, so we'll just give it a second to, to update, and if we did it right, it's gonna now present us with the username and password field where I can use my AD credentials to actually authenticate into my iGel client. And there you go, it actually remembers my username from before, but if I choose other users, I can type that in, type in my password, and it's gonna log me into my iGel client. So simple as that, that's how you do AD authentication to your iGel client. I do wanna create a video to show you how we can utilize that to do pass-through authentication into your Citrix session as well, so I don't have to type this twice. Um, so if you do have any questions, feel free to write in the comment box below. And if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate if you can leave me a like. Um, it just helps me out. So thanks everyone.